This is Twit. Indies Rising Thread Ripper 2950X now available for purchase for $899. You bought two, right? Uh, uh, no. No. <laughs> Not that I'm saying, not that I'm not saying it's a good deal. I still think, so this was, you know, the reviews went up, man, it feels like forever ago, I guess a month ago or something like that. Mm -hmm. And the only one that was for sale was the 32 core 2990 WX that was a very good performing workstation part, but had a lot of, you know, uh, I would say hiccups in the, if you were a general consumer gamer, only light on the heavily multi-threaded applications. Um, 2950X is a much better part for that. It's, uh, better performance for gaming, easier. You don't have to go worry about disabling cores or going into game mode to get good gaming performance. Still offers, you know, 16 cores, 32 threads of compute capability, a lot of power there. And it launches at $100 less than the 1950X launched at, mm -hmm. but you get the advantages of the Zen Plus core, get the advantages of the higher frequency uh, and just better optimization for the platform over time. If If we had to pick of the processors we looked at, this is definitely the one that that gets the most attention, and I think deservedly so uh, from the kind of audience that is that is paying attention. It's the mix of enthusiast slash uh, prosumer, right, as opposed to the pure kind of workstation user that might be interested in the in the twenty nine ninety x twenty nine ninety wx. Curious about the the staggered release of this, if it kind of. I don't know, lessens the excitement for those initial mm -hmm. builders or not um, in that type of thing. But, you know, if you're waiting on the 2950X and looking forward to it, it's there. We still have yet to see, Ken pointed out today, that we still haven't seen the uh, uh, the Wraith Ripper, which is that giant air cooler that they built for the second generation Threadripper parts. Uh, not available for sale yet. That's not necessarily a huge deal because in, in our testing, it it was less, um, the performance was lower with it than it was even with a, you know, 240 millimeter uh, right. so, uh, self-contained water cooler, right? Which is something that I think if you're buying this level of part, makes sense to have uh, built in, built in for your system. So, um yeah, that's that's a good deal, and I'm just checking here. The nineteen the nineteen fifty X is down to seven eleven, so that's that's still a pretty good deal for it. So it's a hundred eighty dollars difference between the previous generation sixteen core thirty two thread and the new one. Um, compelling argument to be made for either of those, I think. So depending on your budgetary restrictions. <laughs>